Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to modify the LBP Vita eboot file in order to connect to private servers. This will require a hacked Vita on any firmware and a PC. Before I get started, you'll need to have two plugins in order to be able to use your modified eboot. The plugins are Repatch and Zero Syscall. You can get these off of AutoPlugin or install them manually if you want to do that. Without further ado, let's get started. First thing we want to do is to get the PS Vita Homebrew FAGDEC. Go to the PS Vita Reverse Engineering GitHub page, go to FAGDEC, build, click on the VPK file, and hit download. Once the download is completed, transfer it to your Vita over either FTP or USB and install it. Once you've got it installed, open it up and look for LVP Vita. Click on LVP Vita and you'll see a few options. The one you'll want to press is the eu.bin file which is in the patch folder. Press cross on it and then go back with the circle button and scroll up to the decrypt modules enlist button. Press cross on that and hit the start decrypt self button. Once it says that it's done, open up Vita Shell and connect your Vita to your PC again. Then, navigate to UXO and open the newly created FAGDEC folder. Then, click on the patch folder, press on the only folder that's there, and you'll see two files. The one we care about is the eboot.bin file, so what you'll want to do is to copy this over to your PC, and I'd suggest making a folder for it. I also want you to note the name of the folder that these two files were in. This is the title ID of your game, and this will be important later, so I suggest that you write it down somewhere. We're now going to decrypt this file so we can actually modify it. We'll be doing this with another tool from the PS Vita Reverse Engineering GitHub page. This time, scroll down to Vita Unmake F Self. Click on it, then press on release, and you'll see this exe file. Click on it and then hit download. After you've downloaded it, put it in the same folder as your eboot.bin file. This is a required step and it will not work otherwise. After that, open up CMD in the folder. You do that by clicking on the search bar while in the folder and then just typing CMD. Now, type Vita and make fself preceded by eboot.bin. If you did it correctly, it will save this and it will have created another file with the name eboot.bin.elf. We've now successfully decrypted the eboot file and it's ready to be modified. For this, we're going to get another application called Union Patcher. You can download this from the Union Patcher GitHub page, but unlike the other things we've downloaded from GitHub, this requires being logged into a GitHub account. So if you do not have a GitHub account, you will need to register one. After you've logged into an account, scroll down and press the highlighted text that says here. Then click on the latest available version and then click Union Patcher Windows, assuming you are on Windows. Once it has finished downloading, move it to the folder with your eboot and extract it. Then open the folder and click on the GUI Union Patcher. Now, it's time to patch the eboot. Press browse on the eboot.elf and select your newly decrypted eboot.bin.elf file. Then on the output file name, press browse and give it a name. I'm gonna call it patched eboot.elf. After this, it's time to type in the IP address to the server that you want to connect to. After that, hit the patch button and you will now see the patched eboot.elf file in the folder that you chose to put it in. With the eboot file being modified, we're now going to re-encrypt it so we can use it on the Vita. To do that, go back to the PSV Reverse Engineering GitHub site. Scroll down to Elf Injector, press Build, click on the EXA file, and download it. After it's done downloading, put it in the folder with the eboot and open CMD in the folder like last time. This time we'll want to type Vita Elf Inject preceded by patched eboot.elf and lastly eboot.bin. If you did everything correctly, it will save this, and your eboot.bin file is now ready for use. Go back to your Vita, open Vita Shell, and create a new folder. Call it Repatch. Notice how the R is lowercase and the P is uppercase. Make sure it's spelled exactly like that. Then create another folder and make the name that combination of letters and numbers I told you to write down earlier. In my case, it's PCSF00021. You'll then want to hop on your PC and connect to your Vita. Go into the Repatch folder, go into the folder that is in there, and move the eboot.bin file into there. You're done. Have fun. <laughs> yeah. 